So yes, welcome to everybody. Welcome to our first in a series of monthly webinars. These are designed to give you a short, sharp update on what's new within our world here at Selectech. This morning, we're going to give you an update on the Papercut Manufacturer Driver, which is now available for Papercut Hive and Papercut Pocket. On the call today, you have myself, Diane Wilkins, Max McKean and Matt Black from Selectech and a few others lurking in the background. Ben's going to be managing our um, the Q&A section and the chat box as well, so please use those. Um, and Paul from Randall from Papercut. Paul will be talking about port 9100 at the end of this webinar. So if you do have a few extra minutes to stay around and stay online, then please join us for that. We'll also take any questions at the end, but as I just said, please do use the Q&A and chat boxes too. And just as a heads up, um, we are a Google house here at Selectech. This is our first time hosting a webinar via Google Meet. We are not planning any technical interruptions, but please do bear with us if anything unexpected was to happen. What is the purpose of the manufacturer driver? Well, what happens when your end users want to use advanced finishing options, such as stapling or folding, when working within a paper cut hive or pocket environment with Find Me print queues, which offer limited feature functionality? Well, they'll want to use the specific manufacturer driver for that model of printer instead to access all those hardware specific features and to get the most out of their printer's capabilities. But that has not been possible in a paper cut hive or pocket environment. But due to popular demand, it is now available. Let me tell you more about it. Papercut Hive and Papercut Pocket can now import and automatically deploy any Windows or Mac OS manufacturer print driver to enable advanced finishing options for any brand of hardware using a Find Me print queue. So why is this needed? What was the problem? What was the solution? And how has this been a benefit? Hive only used the global print driver, meaning many advanced printing features were inaccessible to users. Now, any driver can be imported and deployed to any model or brand. Customers no longer have to make a choice between having Hive or being able to use the full capabilities of their print hardware. To put it simply, that's any driver, any printer, any model, any brand. Papercut Hive now offers total freedom in manufacturer driver choice for Find Me print queues. The Papercut Global Print Driver isn't going anywhere. It's still the powerful default driver installed with the default Papercut printer queue to ensure that all customers start with maximum compatibility, simplicity and easy setup. For customers wanting to use their printer's advanced finishing options like stapling, hole punching and tray selection, they can now load any Windows or Mac OS print driver they need and automatically deploy it to their entire user base through Hive. Until now, Hive supported only one Find Me print queue, the Papercut printer. This queue only supported the Papercut global print driver. This was great for easy setup and maximum compatibility across brands and in mixed fleet environments and ease of administration too. But it meant any manufacturer specific hardware capabilities implemented in manufacturer drivers were unavailable, which meant Hive customers couldn't use the full power and realize the full value of their printers and MFDs to do things like stapling, folding, hole punching, and even specific tray selection until now. With Hive Manufacturer Driver, customers can use any Windows or Mac OS print driver with a Hive Find Me print queue. This unlocks the full power of any and every printer, MFD and finishing unit from any possible manufacturer in the Hive org. With Manufacturer Driver support, anything a user can customise within a print job when directly connected to a printer via a local queue, they can now do more securely and more flexibly through Hive Find Me print queues. It also means administrators now have fine grained control over which advanced finishing options they expose to users for individual devices or entire fleets. It's more choice, more power and more ways Hive makes your hardware shine. 
This new manufacturer driver capability is accessed through a new queues and drivers menu in the Hive admin console, where admins can manage all their Hive print queues and customize the driver for each one. I'll now hand you over to Max, who will explain more about the queues and drivers menu. Just on mute, Max. Age old classic. That uh, is a classic. I we had to be done at least once on the on the call. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, Diane. Um, I will start by saying there is a great video, uh, if you can see in the top corner there, how it works, explaining in technical detail how the manufacturer driver works. Um, but for now, I'm going to walk you through the basics. Uh, you now have the ability to add up, uh, add five queues and in turn uh, drivers. Uh, these can be for any device or manufacturer and support, as Diane said, Windows and Mac OS. Uh, there's no current, uh, there's no Linux support available at the moment, but hopefully in the future. Um, but to start the process, you click create a find me print queue. Okay, now we get the option to add the necessary drivers. Uh, you give the queue a name and then you click the add driver button and depending on the os depending on your os or you can add both windows and mac uh, you also have the option to add some notes for your admin okay on the reference computer you then download the driver add the printer and configure it how you want your users to see it including any advanced print options and your default settings uh, if you already have the printer set up in the way you want it to uh, and the configuration that you want, you can skip this step. So why should your customers care? Oh, sorry, sorry, Diane, you've skipped, you've skipped my, my last slide. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there, should one, there. there should be one more in there. Disappeared, Max. Do you want to just talk through it? Where's that gone? Yes, I will talk through it. Um, so um, you select the laptop or PC that you've just configured, then choose the print queue and add the drivers to that print queue. Uh, once you've done that, it's time to deploy. Uh, you do get the option to test the deployment before you send it out to everyone, but it will currently deploy to all users, but groups are in development. Thank you. So why should your customers care? Well, there's no more need for manual workarounds like unmanaged direct printing. There's now full control, security and tracking of advanced finishing print jobs through Hive. And then there's the fine grained control of default print settings. And why should paper cut resellers care? Well, Hive is now unblocked for customers who want to access the fin advanced finishing options that were previously only available through their specific manufacturer print drivers. Resellers will now have a larger total addressable market for Hive, meaning more sales opportunities. And now there's even better support for mixed fleets with up to five different manufacturer drivers. Uh, how this works is by automatic updating to a more powerful paper cut print client, complete control over print settings and advanced finishing options as find me queues, and drivers stored in the cloud for a secure seamless deployment. So the video that I mentioned earlier is this one. Uh, we're not gonna play it now because it sort of steps on what we've been doing. Uh, but if you want to access this, uh, we, I believe we'll be sending the slides out afterwards, um, or you can log into your Hive instance and access it, or it is also on the PaperCut portal. So it's good time to play it if you uh, skip through it. Yeah, Welcome to the Cues and Drivers page. That's how it starts. <laughs> um, uh, what, what do you get in the first release? As I mentioned earlier, you get five Find Me queues in total, and that does include the default paper cut printer. Uh, you can't delete uh, the paper cut printer, the default paper cut printer, but you can rename it and add a manufacturer driver to it. Um, the Find Me print queues only uh, at launch, so there are no, uh, there's no direct print support yet. Uh, again, as we mentioned, it's Windows and Mac OS currently. Uh, there is no Linux. 
Uh, there is no targeted deployment or groups. So every user in the organization with a compatible OS will get every Find Me queue that is deployed. And the drivers must be imported from a reference computer running the paper cut client software. So no driver package uh, file uploading. So you have to, as I, as I went through the steps earlier. Um, all of this information is very well documented on the knowledge base. Uh, if you don't know where the knowledge base is, uh, it's on the Papercut website. It's also accessible via the portal. Um, if you don't know, don't have access to the portal or don't know where to look, then please reach out to one of the team at Select Tech and we can get you, point you in the right direction or get you set up in, in the right way. Amazing. Thanks, Max. Now, that kind of concludes our slides on the manufacturer driver. Does anybody want to raise their hand, come off mute and ask any questions kind of specifically re uh, related to the manufacturer driver? We have some technical experts on the call today from Selectech, so please feel free to raise a hand or shout out. I appreciate it's being recorded, you might all be shy. So if nobody wants to speak on the call, then you, like Max said, you can contact any of the team here at Selectech. We've got one Anything? question. Yep. Uh, is it possible for Hive to force the new print queue to be the default printer on the client? I don't believe so. I'm going to ask no. one of the technical bods. So not at the moment. I, at the moment, that's not something you can do with Hive as such. Um, so I personally, what I would tend to do, I, I would use the same software I'm using to push out my uh hive so for instance if i'm deploying the software using intune i'd use intune to then set my default printer as part of the process i want to install the edge node software the user client software and also if this queue exists i.e the paper cut printer set that as default for me um that's typically how i'd approach that for now thank you matt kurt i hope that answers your question uh there's a question coming from phil baker as well is it possible to rename the deployed printer after it's been deployed? Great question, Phil. Yep, not a problem. Um, if you've got a queue and it's pushed out everywhere, go back into the queue and you want to change the name, go into the queues and drivers page in the Hive admin interface, ask it to rename it, and it'll push out to all the clients next time the clients check in and have a chat, see what the changes have done to the queues. Thanks, Matt. Can you see any more, Ben? Is there anything in the Q in the Q and A section? Uh, no, we've got nothing in the Q and A section, but you've answered the ones already from uh, the chat side of things. So, if anyone else wants to raise their hand, by all means do, or just bang it in the chat. But you've answered them all so far. Thank you. No one else has raised their hands. So what I'd like to say is, if there's no more questions, um, go, go, who was that? That was me. Uh, I was just yep. going to say about. Um, Paul contributing to this as well. I think Paul wants to say a little something from Papercut. Is that right, Paul? Um, yeah, I think I, I did put a question in the chat. It'd be great to, and I know this has been recorded, but it'd be great to get some of your feedback on um, how manufacturer drivers gone on during some of your installs. Has it resolved any issues? Is there any feedback you want me to take back? Um, into the uh, product team in Melbourne. So if there is anything, um, please reach out either here on the call or to Select Tech, and we can feed that back into our product team. But we, we feel that it's really ticked a few boxes um, with, with that driver deployment, being able to use the manufacturer driver. So it enables the finishing options and more, more of the features of the driver. But um, yeah, it'd be great to get a little bit more of an understanding from use if there is anything. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, so please, again, reach out to us or raise your hand if you have any um, any feedback for paper cut on, on the manufacturer driver. What I will do, I can see that the, third, the 15 minutes is up. So for those people that are just joining us for the manufacturer print driver section, thank you very much for your time this morning. Please look out for our next webinar in the session. But for those of you that do have a few spare minutes to stay online with us, please do. So I am going to hand back over to Paul Randall now from Paper Cut, who's going to do a brief kind of update on Port 9100. So again, Paul, I'll hand back over to you. No worries. Diane, have you got the slides that Andy I do. Sent? Yeah. Do you want to put them up? So let me just put my camera on. 
So good morning, everyone. And thank you once again for staying on to the webinar. So just a little bit of exciting news. Um, you'll see um, that um, in um, Hive, we've now um, notifying of port 9100. So um, it's going to be released um, probably in the next four to six weeks. Um, it can be enabled um, by paper cut. So if you want this enabled on your org ID, please reach out to Select Tech. We can then get that enabled. So what we've done is we've brought in the traditional port 9100. So part of the first remit was to bring in manufacturer driver and uh, queue deployment or driver deployment. This then allowed us to then bring in the uh, port 9100. So instead of at the moment, you deliver a print queue via a queue or via IPP, you can now deliver um, a job on TCP port um, 9100. So it's really, really gonna add um, some speed to the jobs and also some um, different ways to print. So I know some OEMs um, have um, some is um, issues with IPP, IPPS printing. This once again brings it back to that known port 9100 that's been around for many, many years and, and will add a lot more stability again with that printing. Diane, do you want to jump onto the next slide? So just to cement from that, so going forward, when this is enabled on all Hive orgs, this will be the default option. So when we use this option, so PaperCut will determine what print delivery method should be used based on the printer the user selects when they send their print job. So the auto option endeavors to use uh, raw printing 9100 where possible. However, if the print job is using the default driver, it won't be able to send using this method. So what it will then do is it will then automatically look um, and then drop down through the various stages. So if it's not if it's not unable to use 9100, it will then look for a print queue or a driver. If that's, that is available, it will then use that. If there are no print queues available, it will then use the third method, which is um, IPP. So just giving you guys that, that will also be covered in some documentation that will be releasing as well. Do you want to go to the next slide, Diane? Um, as I've just covered off, uh, RAW 9100 will be the default printing protocol um, if manufacturer drivers used. Any custom print delivery methods set beforehand uh, will not be changed. So when we push this, we will not be making any changes. The changes can be made on Hive under the um, delivery methods. Next slide, Diane. Just hoping you've got the same ones as me. So, so, um, so I think how will um, print delivery over 9100 improve printing? I think it's a lot more reliable than 9100. Uh, sorry, than IPP. Some OEMs struggle with. Um, IPP and the processing of the jobs, there's limitations with their um, IPP stack and a lot of the OEMs as well, the IPP hasn't changed from the year dot. So 9100 has been a really stable. So as you will see, MF has been using it to um, 9100 for delivery sometimes and it works very, very reliably. Every printer manufacturer um, supports port 9100 or printing over 9100. It's also a better user experience when delivering. Um, print jobs process a lot faster and you can process multiple jobs at a lot, at a lot quicker speed. And also there is less um, processing overhead. So once again, it allows printing to be a lot quicker. And I, that really is it at the moment. Apologies, it's short and brief, but there will be some slides that come out from us and there will also be a lot more information available for people to look at but if anyone does want to take a little look in the get beamer in um paper Gut hive the little um bell in the top right hand corner if you click on there there's also there's a little write up on um ip uh, port uh, 9100 raw printing and there's a couple of little screenshots of um, some of the configurations and if you've got any feedback on it please 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 put it in the hive portal and our team will look at that um, Paul, you've got a couple of questions, if that's all right. There's a, a couple coming on the chat from Phil. Uh, it's two, so two of them. Will 9100 help with a room full of laptop nodes? 
uh, depending on how it's configured. So yes, um, depending on what devices you're um, sending the jobs to. But Phil, I think it's, let's have a conversation, um, depending on how Hive's set up, how Hive's configured, um, there's a, there is a lot of potential with 9100. We've been doing a lot of testing. We've been working with Select Tech and the team, and it's been enabled on certain orgs, and we've seen some vast improvements over um, failure rates over IPP. So yeah, just um, reach out to the team and we can jump on a call if you want to have a bit more of a deep dive on that, Phil. Thank you, mate. And um, there's one, there is there is an issue with Hive on Rico 5500s. Will this help with that? <laughs> Matt's already I've seen that nodding there. Here, is <laughs> <laughs> So yes, um, we have been uh, working with um, Select Tech and some Rico customers. The port 9100 has resolved uh, the majority, well, um, all of the issues on print delivery to Ricos. So we're not getting um, as many issues. So yeah. Perfect. Definitely. And you've got one more question, mate, from Shane, which is, uh, would you recommend ticking the port 9100 checkbox under advanced settings? Um, we've been doing some testing on it. And at this moment in time, it doesn't make any difference whether it's enabled or disabled. So um, up to you guys, whatever your whatever the manufacturer driver OEM best practices, you can follow that. Perfect. Um, that's both of them. Both said thanks very much. So appreciate that, Paul. Amazing. And no other no. no other questions so far, Diane. Perfect. Well, I appreciate everyone's time this morning, especially those of you that have hung on for that kind of extra bonus session that we had with Paul. Um, this was recorded, so please look out for the link to the recording and pass it on to any colleagues that wasn't able to join us this morning. And please do look out for any future webinars that we are hosting. We're going to try and try and find some content to run them monthly. So if this was useful, then please look out for our further invitations. But of that being said, that's all from us here at Select Tech and from Paul at Papercup. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.